this is the Bone Collector, and you're watching Gully TV Sports. Kareem, could you give me some history on the basketball institution known as St. Rangers? Oh man, that was you know that that meant that's mean everything to me. I mean, I, Gary the Caesar, St. Raymond's family, uh, saved my life, man. Me going to St. Raymond's, you know, a kid, you know, after just winning the city championship in Talentown, I went to Talentown first in ninth grade, winning the city's championship, you know, in ninth grade, and two weeks after that, my school closing, and me being at another crossroad in my life, not knowing where I was gonna go. I guess yesterday we talked about public school and, you know, St. Ray's at that time is crazy. I'm, I'm, when we talk about the Arkansas story, right. St. Ray's just won the championship and I go to St. Ray's. So it's like, you know, every, it's like, I guess I went where the championship was at or whatever, wherever I went, I, they was coming off the championship or whatever. So, you know, just going there was, it was crazy. You know, Terrence Wrencher was leaving, Orlando Antigua, some greats from St. Raymond's was leaving and uh, they had a great team coming back. I guess they all they needed was a point guard and I, just fit right in, you know what I'm saying? At first it was quite difficult, you know, being around, you know, in a, in a girls' school, you know, and I guess in co-ed schools all my life, and then having to go to, you know, a school in Castle Hill that was an hour away from where I lived at or whatever, and it was all boys' school to, to basically, you know, that was that was history, getting there or whatever, and going there, and it was just the, the, the tear and wear that Coach the season still instilled in us or whatever. Like I talked about us, we had 10 D1s on one team, you know what I'm saying, a high school team. You know, you don't get you don't get that. You know, you don't get those those other days. You know, you might get that in a prep school or whatever stuff like that. But you was getting that in a high school, at a Catholic high school. You know what I'm saying? So it was, it was real special to me. You know, with that, you know, leading on a big on and winning a you know city and state championship and going back to the championship my senior year. Yeah, I guess that was the momentum of me making me, me being a McDonald's All America. You said you won a um, high school title your freshman year. Yes. I won a, you know, I won my freshman year, I won my ninth grade year, I won a, a freshman champ, I won a JV championship. You said the school closed and school after y'all won? After, they, after, they, after we won at Talentown, the school closed. Okay. Who were some of your teammates? You had some, some pretty uh, top show teammates. Yeah, I guess uh, that, in that time, we didn't, you know, it's Elvis Blunt, he's doing a lot of the interviews and stuff like that from New York, on the down, we had Kojo Lockhart, played with Bernard Wheeler, you know, a couple of guys like that. We are, that public school, like you said, the next year they had to go to public school was a school that was crowded. Right. That changed some, you know, that's a big thing. In ninth grade, you set, you think it was gonna be one thing or whatever, and your school closes, so you had 30 basketball players in New York without a school to go to. So it was you gotta get somewhere else, yeah, you prove yourself. Prove yourself and stuff like that. Same thing, same Raymond's, like we talked about. I thought I was gonna go there and play JV. They were stacked. You know, two weeks, you know, two weeks into school, I'm coming in the gym, I'm seeing all the top recruiters. Jim Bainhan, Tom, Tom Penders, you know, I'm seeing different schools in there because, like you said, St. Raymond's had the tradition. This was just open gym. We were playing, it was college coaches there, but was that, that right there was like solidified for me. Like, he was bringing coaches to, to the school, you know, we didn't, we didn't have, you know, it, we didn't have to go anywhere. You know, after school, three, four o'clock, open gym, you're gonna see 15, 16 college coaches. Did you play in the NCAA tournament? Yes, yes, of course. My freshman year, but I told you once again, my freshman year we went to the Sweet 16. Uh, my, my sophomore year. Who, did, not to cut you off, who, who were some of the teams y'all took down en route to going to the Sweet 16? Yeah, yeah, I guess we took down uh took down Penn State the first game and Marquette the second game. Okay. We lost to UMass that year, which was the uh I guess they were the champions that year. So if y'all played against Penn State, which is conventionally a football school, y'all probably played against the Crispin brothers? Yeah, the Crispin brothers. And it's it crazy because we played against them in Providence. Oh, yeah? So we, yeah, we was in a, it was a Providence region. It was five against 12. We went up there and won the Providence region. We played Penn State and Marquette. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, the, list, the, the, the brothers, I guess they had the big kid, Booth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So yeah, mm -hmm. we played though. We played yeah. though. I appreciate you, man. Uh, we're gonna come back out here and see you again. So tell me about this high school where we at right now and some of the uh, players that this high school have given birth to. Oh, yeah. Did this, so, did this high school feed the university any players? Uh, no, no. Actually, the only one that went here, I guess, was Ronnie. I guess they had a couple of walk ons or whatever. But I guess football, we feed a lot. You know, like I said, this campus is so unique. This high school is on the University of Arkansas campus. If you look at it, they're adjacent to the football field, I mean, to the basketball stadium and stuff like that. So it's, it, you know, it's easier recruiting too, but like once again I say, we having to bring more, more stars, you know, five stars up here, whatever, you know, I guess 
this town is opening up because of Walmart and things like that. But yeah, they had uh, Ronnie Brewer, which is coaching tonight. Right. They had a two-time, uh, when they go back to that National Championship game, it was a Croatian kid on that on that National Championship name, Davor Romack. Okay. He flew, he came here from Croatia, a change student, wound up coming here, wound up getting a uh, scholarship, earning a scholarship to the University of Arkansas. So they had, you know, we had Nikki Bradford that played at Kansas, that's on the coaching staff here. So they had, you know, Fred Gully was a two-time state championship and wound up going on to the Razorbacks. So, you know, we get, we get one out of, you know, we get one every four or five years to come out of, you know, this area, you know, this was Malik Monk, when, when he didn't go here, he went to the rival school here in Bentonville, but he's from this area or whatever. So, you know, we produce some, we produce some good guys in this area. Just trying to bring some more awareness to this area. Lastly, I want to ask you, if you had to go play for some money, who's your starting five? Who are you taking the war with? You? Starting five with street ball? Yeah, period. Oh, they period. Can be street ball pros, but you had to have played with them. Who are you taking to the war? I guess I'm taking uh, Stephon Marbury. Uh, I guess so it's me, Steph. You know, God bless him, Dad. It's, 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 it's baby Panda. You know what I'm saying? So I'm giving my, my, my street. NBA team, but you know, street guys from, I guess, New York that I guess I go to war with. You know, you know, of course, Reggie Freeman, high five. You know, it's a bunch of guys. You know, Rayford, when it's when it's that time. That's four. Us, yeah, when we hook up, and I guess I go. Uh, God bless that Conrad McCray. McNasty. There you go. Syracuse Orange. This is a classic, man. The internet's going crazy. Don't do this again. Sometime soon. Green, I love you, my nigga. I love you to death. Love you for coming here, sir. Love y'all. Gotta be TV.